Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times <laughs> joining me, sorry, if this is one of your first times joining me, um, welcome. Um, if you're on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell below and you'll get notified immediately. And if you're on my Facebook group or on my page, you'll also get notified. Um, so today it's back to Mondays and um, basically I'm going to play with the tea boutique uh, suite. It's a beautiful suite. Good morning. Um, it, it's, it's just gorgeous. And actually I'm just going to switch on down to my desktop and let's get going on this. This suite can be found on page 12 and 13 of the annual catalog. And really, this designer series paper has all the new in colors in there. So I get to play with an awful lot of the in colors. Something else that it does have are the memories and more um, card uh, or there's um, cards and envelopes. Beautiful. I haven't even started playing with those. But what an, uh, an adorable stamp set and bundle that goes along with that. Remember, when you do buy as a bundle, and this is the bundle, that you do save 10% uh, when you buy um, those two together. So we're going to make, and it's going to be a gift card. And the only reason it's going, hello, the only reason it's going to be as a gift card is because of the fold. Um, and I'll show you what that is. Um, so I'm going to be using a lot of the in colors. I'm, my goodness, you guys are going to freak. For the people that do know me, I'm actually going to use garden green today. I know, shock, but in any event. So this designer series paper, um, this is probably my favorite pattern of all of them. Um, it's it's just so pretty. It's got, it does have garden green in it. It's got the starry sky in it. It's got the sweet sorbet. So I thought that what I do is I try to correspond an awful lot of these colors that go with it. Now, what I did was I turned around and this is a piece that's five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at two inches, two inches, four and a quarter inches. And then when I folded this in like this, it, I was going to have to tuck it down. So I thought, well, I might as well make um, a gift card out of this. So very simple. Um, if you have a circle punch, a circle punch would work great there. Circle punches are basically... Um, circle punches are not in the catalog anymore, and that's a big boohoo for me. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to eyeball this, and I'm going to use my heart punch just to get that little bit of a divot out of there. And that just does not look good. So I don't know if I can. There, that'll work like that to give the divot for the gift card holder. So when you put this in here, then this will pull out the gift card holder. And that works just perfectly with that um, score line at the two inches and the four and a quarter inches. So in order to get that so it stays down, let me just move all this stuff out of the way, is I'm just going to come in with my tear and tape. And I'm just going to put a piece up here. And did you know that when you do have a gift card, if you want, what you could do is just take your tear and tape, just put that across there and just hold it there and that'll give you a nice even um, cut with the tear and tape. I don't know if that's something that you've ever known before, but just a little tidbit, a little helpful tip. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put that down like that. So then what we can do is now we can go ahead and start doing some of the decorations. This is two inches, so this is going to be one and this is um, two and an eighth, so this is going to be two inches. Let me just double check. Yeah, two inches by five and a quarter inches, and then this piece will be one and three quarter inches by five inches. Like I say, I just love that designer series paper. So just come on with my glue. And we'll just go ahead and put that on. Um, who, who else likes this tea set? I just find it's just beautiful. It's, um, 
Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and just tack that down in the front. Now, doesn't that look so pretty with that starry sky? And, of course, with the colors that are also in this designer series paper, like I said, I'm going to pick up the sweet sorbet that's in there as well. So this is just going to go like this. And then I have a piece of basic white. And it is in, um, it's four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's going to go on the inside there. But then this is, have you seen the in color designer series paper? Like all of the um, color groups all have designer series paper where it has, let's see, it has polka dots on one side. It has a plaid. There's a flower on one side and then there's stripes on one side as well. I'm going to use the polka dots. I'm really a polka dot type person anyways. You could do the plaid if you wanted. Just think this kind of goes better with the card just because there's polka dots on there as well. So this um, piece of the de designer series paper is three and three quarters by five inches. The white was four by five and a quarter. And we're just going to go ahead and just layer that into the inside. No, you're probably saying, but you can't write on here. But the way that this card is designed, you will be able to write. And I'll show you how that gets done. Yeah, this, you know what? I will honestly tell you, this, this was not on my radar. I always say certain things like that. But I took a course with it. And before it even happened, I ended up um, playing with it. And honestly, you can make such beautiful things with it. And, and the sentiments on it are really nice. Let's get together soon. Take care of yourself. Um, thank you. I'm going to do a thank you card today. So this has started to be like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting a piece is going to go here. And then a piece is going to go on the inside there. And that's how we're going to decorate that inside. But let's go ahead with this. And this piece happens to be two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I'm going to actually stamp the sentiment down here. Um, and I'm going to use, like I say, the thank you one. And I should probably, because this is a photopolymer stamp, that I'm going to come in with my paper piercing mat. Just going to put, thank you, right there. And as this goes, um, as it dries, it tends to, um, it lightens up. So it's really kind of pretty. So we're going to do some stuff with that. We're going to let that dry. I find with the really dark, dark colors, it's, it's really, um, the dark colors, get on your hands so much easier so that's why i wanted to kind of do it that way now with this i am going to show you how i'm going to cut i've got i want let's see i want a teacup with these flowers this is a sweet sorbet designer series paper and then i also want a teacup with the polka dots but i want the handles going opposite directions so i'm just going to go in and I'm just going to take this like this and I'm going to cut them together because they're so, this is designer series paper, so it's a lot thinner than the other. So let's just come in with my cut emboss machine, my baby. And then let's just cut that. Yeah, there's no need to have two, um, of the teacup dies because you just if you want it to the handle to go the opposite way you just turn the piece over so I'll show you that and i'm going to need this in a second so i'll just put it over here now so so i have 
the teacup going this way. I don't want a plaid teacup, but I want um, a polka dot teacup. So it's going to go that way. Now, there is a bit of a rough edge on there when you do cut it the opposite way. So just take your bone folder and just run it along there. And then there's also this other teacup that's cut like this with these dies. And I thought, you know what, I could put that onto this one. And I, you know, and I'm going to do it. But I also went and I layered this onto the adhesive sheet because it's so much easier to go ahead and put that onto your, um, your when it's a detailed die like that to use the adhesive sheet. So that's why I just did this one. All right. So I had one cut out in white, but then I thought tone on tone would be nice. So there we go. So this is going to go on here like this. We're going to have one come on here like this. But then I thought, too, it might be nice to kind of have a bit of the greenery to bring in some of the greenery from here. So I'm going to come on with a scrap piece of paper. We'll use this one here. And then I've got this leaf um, stamp. And I'm going to use the garden green. I know the people that know me really well are probably gasping. Garden green, oh my goodness. But it does go good with this card. So I'll just that. This is a nice juicy stamp set, and I've had it ever since these new stamps came out. I just don't use it that often, anyways. So all right. So and then we can go ahead and cut those out as well. I'll just move this out of the way. Now I could have used these sprigs like that, but I didn't, I just couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to look or what I thought it should look like. So I'm just gonna come in with this. I'm going to take some post-it note tape and we'll just cut that one out and I've got a couple more already cut. There we go. Oops. All right. Let's put this in my pile of dies. All right, so now we can go ahead and start putting this card together. So I'm thinking that it's going to go like this. I'm thinking that this would be kind of neat to have one coming like this out of there. And maybe another one behind just to give a bit. Now, you know what? It should have three on there probably. So I actually have another one that's cut out as well. So we'll maybe put that one on there too just to give it that look, right? All right, so I can go ahead and start putting some of this on there. Now, I'm thinking that this should probably go on here first. So I'm just gonna go with my glue. And this one we're gonna lie flat. You know what, I can go ahead and I'm actually going to pop all these up with dimensionals. Yeah, like I say, this was not on my radar, but do you know, it's, it's really versatile because you could do this for any, any occasion. Let's see how that's going to look. Just over just a bit. 
Now we're going to put this over here. So we're going to put the dimensionals on this side and then glue on that side. And then there. Let's go ahead and put some of that down in there. And then this one is just going to go behind here. by putting that dimensionals in some parts there, it really helps with um, putting these on there. Let's see how that's going to look. So we do need one over here. I'm wanting that to be more up. Try this. Don't like how that's working there. Thinking that maybe what I could do, and I'm going to do it and I probably regret it afterwards, is I'm actually just going to cut this part down and we're just going to have a tiny bit of the green coming out the bottom. That's better. There we go. All right, so that's going to go like that. We're going to put that on there. So we have to remember that it's just going on the one side. Now, we're going to put embellishments on there. So I'm thinking, should it be like that? Or should I maybe put some splatters on it too? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my marker. And you could do this also with your Stampin' Blends. And I'm just going to actually just get a tiny bit of splatter on here. That'll just take some of that starkness off. There we go. A bit right there. And that just kind of, just a tiny bit of a splatter on there. You, like I say, you could do that with your Stampin' Blends as well. Let's go ahead and put that on to this side. So, so what do you think? Free shipping tomorrow. Oh my goodness. So if your orders are in Canada that are over um, $100 or $75 in the U.S. and I'm not sure about the other markets, um, you can get free shipping on your orders starting um, tonight at um, 12 o'clock Mountain Time. So that's kind of a cool thing. I love free shipping. All right. So this piece here, we can decide what we want to put on there. Do we want to put something on the inside? You know, we could put the lemon on there. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave that. And maybe even I could just put... You know what? I'm going to do it really simple. I'm going to come in with my blending brush. We're going to come in with our starry sky. And let's see, I just need to get a tiny bit of that ink off. And let's just put it here. And then this, all this will do is just give you There we go, on the inside. Because there's a lot of decoration on the outside, right? So now how I'm going to do this is I am going to place this on here. Well, you know what? I think I know roughly where that's gonna be. I think if I did that right in the middle, we're gonna be okay with it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna come in with this. So yeah, free shipping tomorrow, tomorrow only. 
I was putting some stuff off until July, but now I'm not going to. I'll just go and put my order in tomorrow. I'm out of a lot of different card stocks, so there we go. So, like I say, we have this. We're going to go in. We're going to put a gift card holder in here like this. Now, these um, um, solid fauceted gems, even though this says this is Night of Navy, I think it looks like Starry Sky. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use some of these. And one up here. I think it works perfect. Those they're really nice um, um, embellishments. Haven't used them much. The colors that come in that is balmy blue. This says Night of Navy. Blushing Bride. Um, I think this is Magenta Madness or Polish Pink. Pool Party. And um, what's really cool is Mossy Meadow. Anyways. There's our card. So what we used was the cup of tea um, bundle. We used the designer series paper from um, the um, Tea Boutique. And we used then the in-color DSP for there. We used these elegant fauceted gems. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget that if you do live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. If by any chance... Um, you um, have any questions at all uh, on anything just make sure that you write uh, uh, um, just send a message make sure that you tag me in there if you're on YouTube you don't need to do that if you like this give me the thumbs up share my video um, if you're on my page you can share my video through Facebook there and also if you're on YouTube you could also share my video and I really do appreciate that so if you have any questions at all um, like I say just go ahead and post that and we will see you, thank you, um, tomorrow. Oh, it's my technique um, Tuesday. It's how did they do that technique. This is where I'm showing different techniques. We're starting off very, very basic. A lot of these techniques are oldies, but goalies. Um, but it's amazing what you can do with these types of, um, these types of uh, techniques with some of the new stamps. Actually, some of the new stamps work really, really well with it. Um, and then, of course, you have a printout that you can um, do a sample of your own. I'll give you a sample. But that's on Tuesday. So we'll see you at about 4.30 Pacific time tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.